Hello and welcome to the Story Shed. And today's story was written by a friend of mine called Kathleen Byron, who has very kindly allowed me to read it to you. It's set in the world of Viking mythology and has two Norse gods in it, both of whom I think you'll probably know, Loki and Thor, because you'll have seen them in films, on television, in books and comics. If you sit back now and relax, I will read you this story, which is titled Honey Cakes. Loki wanted honey cakes. Andamnir, Valhalla's cook, appeared the morning of Loki and Thor's ninth birthday with a plate of them and said, Happy birthday, boys. I've been experimenting with mixtures of flour, honey, yeast and eggs, and these have turned out well, so I thought you'd like them. Loki had never had them before but fell in love with them. He loved their sweet taste, the delicious smell of them baking, their spongy texture, and was fascinated by their ability to bounce back. If you pressed a finger in one, then took it away again, the honey cake would slowly start erasing the mark. He'd never waited to see if it would disappear altogether. Honey cake was just too tasty. How could he get and him near Andy to his friends to make him honey cakes? He had a brainwave. If he kidnapped the sacred boar, he could blackmail Andy to make him honey cakes. This boar was a treasured animal. Its real name was Salimnir, but the children called him Piggy. It was slaughtered every night. Andy took the meat off the bones and used it in roasts and stews. Everyone ate it, and then Piggy was resurrected using the old bones. It took a long time for Loki to plan his scheme. He found out that Andy resurrected the boar when everyone was finished eating in the late evening, and didn't slaughter it again until the sun went behind Odin's mountain the next day. Loki spent a few nights hidden behind a tapestry in the feasting hall so he could find out when the grown-ups went to sleep. He'd often seen drunk gods sleeping there when he got up in the morning so he knew they didn't all go to bed. He was shocked when he saw some of the younger gods and goddesses were kissing and cuddling. He decided that a bit before dawn would be the perfect time. Even the heaviest drinking gods were asleep then, and the first children weren't awake. Loki had always woken before everyone since he was a baby. He loved that time alone when he could explore all the places he wasn't meant to go. Although it was spring and the nights were getting longer, he woke in the dark. All he could hear was an owl hooting and bats screeching. He had slept in his clothes to make getting up easier and felt a bit sweaty. Next time, he would hide his clothes outside the room and get dressed there. He felt for his boots, which he'd lined up exactly with the bottom of his pillow, so he could find them without waking Thor. Thor was such a spoil sport. Loki sneaked out the door and put on his boots as his feet were getting cold on the stone floor. First, Loki placed the ransom note in the kitchen for Andy. He'd scratched the runes into a piece of bark. I have, Piggy, and we'll swap for honey cakes. Leave them on the hen house roof when the sun is highest. He collected the bag of apples he'd hidden near Piggy's sty and walked over. The boar was lying on its side, snoring quietly. Loki never knew that pigs snored. The sty gate opened with a squeak, which woke the boar and he stood up. Loki threw an apple on the ground in front of Piggy. Piggy ate it in one bite. Leaving the gate open, Loki lured the boar with an apple every three feet towards the little pen he'd built in the forest. By this time, there was enough light to see. 
the forest was a bit scary in the dark. Loki turned for home and went grinning to the feasting hall to have his breakfast. Andy had noticed Loki's behaviour, and after receiving the childishly scratched note, he realised who had kidnapped the boar. Andy planned his revenge. Loki got his honey cakes and ate them all on the way to get the boar from the forest. He used the apple trick to lure the boar home, but was surprised when they got near, the boar took off and trotted back to his sty by himself. Andy saw the boar return and ran out to ensure the sty gates were shut behind him. Loki was upset to find on his return that Andy had made a huge batch of honey cakes, but everyone in Valhalla had eaten them, and there were none left. So there you go. Loki got his comeuppance in that story there. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what you think. If there are any stories that you'd like to hear, if there's any way you think we can improve the story shed, or if you want to do any of your own writing to send in, or pictures, you can send them to thestoryshed at gmail.com. That's thestoryshed at gmail.com. And we do have, coming up, some writing prompts on the blog, which is the story shed blog. Dot com. That's the story show blog dot com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the story, Kathleen. And all of you, take care of yourselves. Be well. Stay safe. But for the time being, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.